Hey guys, welcome back to Heart of the Batter. The football season is here. My family has loved football for a very long time. My dad played, my brother played in college. I wanted to play, but it didn't work out because my parents said no. But it's okay, because singing did, yay. We all love to get together and watch the games. So what I'm going to do for you today is an awesome game day treat. We're gonna do mini calzones. We're gonna be making two savory ones. We're doing a mushroom fontina and then a prosciutto arugula. And we have our dessert, our banana calzone. You ready? Here we go. What we're gonna start with is our dough. I'm going to cut this into four pieces. Ooh, look how fluffy it is. I take the rolling pin and you're gonna roll it out so you have room for what you're putting inside as well as folding it over because we're gonna roll it over to seal it. Stretch it out. Take mushrooms that are roasted with thyme, stick those in there, and take the cheese, and you're gonna roll it over, and you make a seam so that nothing comes out when it bakes in the oven. Press the edges down, and you're gonna twist the edges back up. Now we're super sealing it so nothing comes out, working it underneath itself. Take a fork, and you do one, two, three. So that it vents while you bake it, and that way it won't explode or pop open. gosh, it smells so good. I have arugula growing in my backyard, actually. That's how much I love it. Arugula and prosciutto and some crostinis is one of my favorite snacks ever. You have the saltiness of the prosciutto and then you have a little bit of the pepper with the arugula. It's just almost like the perfect bite. So when I do it, sometimes I add balsamic, but today with these calzones, we're gonna add the marinara instead. You're gonna take your marinara. You don't wanna to be too heavy handed because we've got four things that have to go in this mini calzone. Take a little bit of the arugula and then we're gonna add a little bit of prosciutto. So I got to join my grandpa's fantasy football league, so I do that as well. Now it's become even more intense at the house because now we're watching our individual players for our fantasy teams as well as the teams that we like. So we're flipping through all the channels, it's crazy, but it makes it a lot of fun and really interactive for all of us to be able to get involved. And now we're gonna fold this one over too. Do the same thing, close up those edges so everything stays inside. Vent them. Make sure the fork actually goes through so that you don't have any explosions. My grandpa has been playing fantasy football since before there were even apps for it. They would actually look at all of the scores in the newspaper and they would tally up their scores that way. And that's how they would find out who won the games and the battles against each other, which I thought was very funny. So he was playing for a while and I said, hey, Papa, I wanna join the team. Can I join? And he was like, no. And I was like, "What? why, why not? And he said, well, we have to take a vote. And I said, but you're my grandpa. How come I can't be like grandfathered in? Like, can't I just play? No. So they all got together and they actually voted to let me in <laughs> to play in the league. That's how serious they were taking it. For the mushroom and fontina, I'm going to put just a little bit more time on the outside. A little bit of green, that'll be nice, right? Just a little salt on top as well. And then on this side, we're gonna grate some Parmesan cheese on top. My husband likes casseroles, ice cream, and anything that you can think of with dairy. And I'm sitting there like, why not cheese it up? So you're going to put these into your preheated 425 on the center rack and then you are going to keep it in here for 15 minutes or until golden brown, so keep an eye on it, okay? Now onto the sweet calzone. I'm really excited about this one because it's inspired by something that I had at one of my favorite restaurants in LA. I ordered this banana pizza and I was like, you know what, that sounds really interesting, I'm gonna try it. And when I got the pizza, there was actually cheese on the pizza with the banana and the sugar and all of the other things that went into it. And I was a little skeptical at first, but I took a bite and I was hooked. So I think that this is going to be really good in a little mini version as well. So what we're going to do is you're gonna take your lovely banana and we are going to cut it. I know there are a lot of people who look at a brown banana and go, ew, that's gross. But actually, the bananas get sweeter as they get darker. And if you're ever gonna make banana bread, don't use yellow bananas. You wanna use some bananas that are a little bit more ripe. So we're gonna slice the banana in half lengthwise, and then you wanna dice them 
into little squares. Ta-da! You don't want to mush the banana because I just think when you when you bite into the calzone, that might just be a big squish mush in your mouth and that might not be the best texture that you want. I love bananas. I don't get to eat them very often because I always forget that I have them. <laughs> My husband doesn't really like them. He saw a spider come out of one once and that was it. He never wanted a banana ever again. <laughs> you're going to put these, your lovely pieces, into your bowl and then you're going to take Roughly a tablespoon of brown sugar. You're gonna add a little bit of cinnamon. I'm just gonna use just a touch. And then good old pinch of salt to help balance it out. Mix it all together. It's going to be a little wet and that's okay, but it'll caramelize in the oven. Oh, look at that. It's gonna be delicious. So then you're gonna set that to the side because now we gotta go back to our dough. One. Flour your board again. That's unappealing. <laughs> rolling pin. Before I actually bought my own rolling pin, I used a wine bottle. It's a little bit fatter, so it feels a little bit weird, but it gets the job done. So I would love to say that my husband would like to try this, but because of his banana phobia incident, um, I don't think he's going to. Now don't get scared when I say this. You are going to put mozzarella cheese in this calzone. I promise you it'll go so well with the brown sugar and the bananas, you just have to give it a chance. Be adventurous with this calzone, okay? Like I love sweet and salty and sweet and savory together. Give me kettle corn, dark chocolate with sea salt, caramel, all that stuff. So with the banana and the brown sugar and the saltiness and the mozzarella, you get all that goodness. It's gonna be great. Now we're gonna drizzle a little bit of the lovely banana concoction we've made over here. And this, we're gonna fold this one a little bit differently so you can see all this amazing goodness on the inside. You actually are going to need an egg wash first before you do this to help seal it. So you have one egg and then a little bit of water. Brush top side on the outside of the calzone so that it can close it. And you're gonna pull the side with the egg wash on top so it stays. So it's a little calzone, but it also looks like a little burrito. Can't be mad at a little burrito, it's nice. So after we had DJ, we were in the house a lot. It got a little stir crazy in there. So we cleaned out the garage and we put a TV in there. We got some bean bags. I got <laughs> my husband a little fridge out there and a microwave. <laughs> so he can have his space and his time. It's a man cave, but it's essentially a sports cave because I'm invited, so we watch our games out there and we have a blast and have a good time. And I think that with these little calzones and then the game on TV, we would be very content. Please, you guys, remember to leave in the comments if you try it or make it, let me know, because I want to see and I want to know what you thought about it. All right. It's funny because these remind me kind of pigs in a blanket. You're gonna take that egg wash and water mixture and you're gonna put it on the outside as well. It helps make it golden brown and it also helps the sugar that you put on the outside or whatever you put on the outside to, to stick to it. And we're going to sprinkle raw sugar on the outside because why not? And it'll add some crunch on the outside of your lovely little calzone. So you will put this in your oven at 425 center rack for about 10 to 15 minutes or until golden brown. So we have another piece of our lovely banana calzone, a hazelnut chocolate dipping sauce. You have to add just a little bit of chocolate to it. You just have to. So what we have is a cup of the chocolate hazelnut spread, and then I warmed up some heavy cream in the microwave. You're going to add it in here just to loosen this up, not to make it too runny, so you kind of have to eyeball it, okay? Because you might not need all of it, depending on how much you use. And you're just going to slowly whisk it together. So it may take a second, but you just gotta whisk it till it's smooth again. Get a nice, easier dipping bowl for this. So now we've got our lovely dipping sauce. It's so good. <laughs> Okay, which one do you want to try? Okay, let's let's do the banana one. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay, ready? Okay. Okay, ready? <laughs> it's not bad. Are you lying? No, you know I don't lie about food. That's true. That is true. You like it? Yeah. 
Yeah, score. Okay. Look at him. Oh, buddy. Oh. Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah. No, it's really good. Oh, look at the inside. Come here. Let daddy see. Oh, hello. Okay, you guys, so we have our prosciutto and arugula <laughs> calzone. We have our fontina and mushroom, and we have our dessert, our lovely banana calzone. What do you guys like to eat on game day? Please let me know in the comments, and don't forget to subscribe, and I will see you guys right back here next week. See you later. See you, bye-bye. Bye-bye. Don't try and steal his food. Don't, <laughs> don't try and steal his food.